Well, good morning, everybody. And today we're going to take a ride around Douglas Lake. Yeah, so today our adventure is going to start in Sevierville and technically behind the um, Home Depot in Sevierville. And we're going to take this road called Allensville Road. We're going to take it all the way out to uh, Douglas Dam Road that will then take us to Douglas Dam. We're going to check and see what all around the dam and all the beautiful views out there. And then we're going to go to the north side of uh, Douglas Lake beautiful views and everything out there. Uh, we're going to stop, take a look at old farms, whatever we can see along the way. And then we're going to come back through uh, Dandridge into Chestnut Hill and then the English Mountains all the way back to, well, Sevierville again. We're going to do a big loop around the lake. You ready, Dawn? I'm ready. Let's, Let's do, do this. It. Well, there's an old silo just sitting over there in that, that field. You can see a little foundation underneath it where a, a barn probably once sat. Look at that old bus over there. I can actually picture, well, an old country band or something traveling around the country. You can actually see mountains painted on the side of it well hello mr. cows what a lovely day to be in the mountains you guys do a lot of mountain climbing look at this old house on the side of the road here definitely got that mountain feel to it elect Ralph chance Sevier County Court Clerk. Of course, there's a big sign on it that says, Posted. No trespassing. Keep out. I don't really think anybody's lived there quite a long time. I love the metal roof. Well, now we're coming up to Dolly Pardon's mom's house. That's Red Top up there on top of that hill, on top of that luscious green hill. Beautiful white gates out front. And Beautiful red buds are out. Love how everything is so green. Here comes an old barn up on the, the left here. Love them old old barns. Some Easter decorations over there. Oh. All twisty and turny, isn't it? <laughs> well, the skies are absolutely beautiful. So this part of Sevier County is mostly farmland. And a lot of folks don't don't know this, but other than uh, tourism, uh, farming is actually still a big uh, business here in Sevier County. Uh, once you get away from the the strip and all the lights and mini pots and attractions, there's beautiful, luscious, green country back roads here. A lot of agriculture and farming here in these mountains. A lot of cows too. See the cows doing? Yes. I've seen a lot of them have babies. Look at this barn right here. It's like right off the, the edge of the road here. And then got this barn over here. That's pretty cool too. Mm -hmm. On the side of the road there. Well, there's a beautiful barn off in the distance there. Beautiful countryside, lush green grass. Well, this barn here says, I love you. <laughs> that barn is actually really close to the edge of the road. A lot of barns 
are like that here in the mountains, right off the edge of the road. All those cows are up on that hill there, eating all that luscious green grass. Beautiful day here in the Smokies. Beautiful skies. Well, we made it here to the, the damn store. Hey, Dawn, go out to the damn store and get us a couple drinks. Sure. Gas is a little pricey though. You can get it in Sevierville for $1.29. There it is, the damn store. <laughs> that little gas station here. Quite a, about down here by the lake and what have you. A few folks outside sitting down. Well, that sign there says, Tackle Box. Look how beautiful this tree is. I told Will we gotta stop and just take some pictures of them. I think it might be a cherry blossom tree. I think it is. Yeah, we're here in a what a cemetery actually behind us. Beautiful, beautiful. There's a bird of prey up there flying around. He's some kind of some kind of hawk or something, I'm guessing. Well, we pulled in this little backcountry church. We noticed a little garden they had up, up front here. and Beautiful skies behind it. Now, beautiful Douglas Lake. In the background there is English Mountain directly across the lake. You can tell the clouds are low over there. There's some mallards actually flying across the top of the lake here. This is definitely a really beautiful lake to come out and shoot pictures of the mountains in the background. Clouds are a little low today. But we're gonna take a little walk because we're finding that there's really not any places you can walk anymore to get out and get fresh air. Uh, all the parks in Sevierville are, are closed. You can't, you know. So we're just gonna, just gonna take a nice little walk around and been cooped up and so we wanna enjoy this little bit of time out here and of course the beautiful lake and dam behind us there. Dawn, what do you think? I'm enjoying this. Yes. Getting some fresh air. It's cool this morning, but um, the sun is just about to peek through and and uh, yes, it just makes a good, crisp morning here. There ain't nobody here either. It's like we got the whole place you know, to ourselves. Well, here's an up close of those red bud trees that are popping all over the Smokies here. 
They're absolutely beautiful. Uh, looks like these guys here are going to start to to open there and show their well true colors here. I don't know what they are, but they smell smell beautiful. You can hear a plane up above. And you can hear the dam down below. I guess opening the floodgates a little bit. Or it's producing power. Well, these here are wild onion plants. And when you cut your grass here in the Smokies, it always smells like onions because these things grow wild everywhere. And I mean everywhere. And that's something we never experienced in Michigan anyways. Something different. Is that an umbrella down there? Somebody lost their, their umbrella. So we've been here for about an hour, just walking uh, back and forth, taking in the beautiful scenery. A lot of beautiful red buds, different kinds of flowers and things growing in here. It's absolutely beautiful. Of course, the mountains as a backdrop and, and the dam down there. And we're the only ones here, so it uh, feels a little bit like we're in nature a little bit right yes <laughs> okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go the upper upper look there's actually a higher uh, plateau here and we'll see what we can find up there right Welcome to Douglas Dam. I got this little, uh, little map here showing where we're at. There's the dam there. And then you have, this is where we're at with the boat launch and that down there. And then you had the lower parking area where we're at just before this. And of course, we're, we're up here now. And uh, yes. And, um, of course, they're showing us where we're at here. There's Douglas Dam. You got North Carolina over here. Of course, the Great Smoky Mountains that sits right in about there. And then you have other dams in the area. Of course, the TVA uh, was developed back in the early 40s to, well, control drainage and flooding issues throughout the Smoky Mountain region and to produce power so that we can actually um, win World War II, technically. We used it to build planes and cars and the aluminum that was produced from the mills, and what have you. But, yeah. And then up here at the top, they actually have a, uh, a little restroom area. Of course, that's, that's shut down because of, uh, well, this is right here area close to public safety but we're not touching nothing we're just walking around of course we're the only ones out here now this is actually new uh this wasn't here the last time i was here so this is one of the i guess the turbines that make the power in the dam down below and um 
of course is with the wow look at the mountain views over there absolutely beautiful but check check this out i actually have a little uh bronze statue of a well, some kind of a uh some kind of what is that dawn it's a bird. It's a bird. Uh, it's like a crane. It's like a crane of some sort. It's a crane. Yeah. Of course, over here you have, um, you know, they're talking about the mission of them creating power. And then here is more about, in 1941, President Roosevelt asked Congress to approve the, the TVA and the Douglas Dam so they can actually control uh, the floods that we used to have back in those days. And here it actually shows the aluminum that was produced in the area to build well our air force and and seven big bombers and what have you of course it transformed the valley and made a well a huge lakes all over in uh, fontana dam which is on the other side of the smokies is the largest dam uh east of the mississippi course here it's the part of the the new the new deal and then valley hardships they were um, trying to control floods and and what have you so that they can teach the folks that lived here how to farm more efficiently and what have you of course here's a little six thousand two hundred and twenty laborers worked around the clock to build the dam just over there and it took 384 days for Douglas Dam to be completed and like yet again these dams here actually help us win well World War II and here is actually a pretty cool here it actually um, shows how the water is ran through the turbines creating power and here's some more construction started in 1942 operation began in 1943 um, I don't think we could build a dam like that in just a year these days even with all the technology I don't think back then they really they really made things happen of course we also get that beautiful view down there of the of the Great Smoky Mountains and Douglas Lake and wow all the trees are starting to get their green color back and absolutely stunning dawn wow absolutely beautiful isn't it yes yeah uh, oh, it's just stunning 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 well, we're going to take a walk around here. It's a nice little walking path and uh, get some more exercise in. Seeing that uh, we're probably cooped up in the house for a few more days. But I did find a little place here that, well, I guess we can social distance from seeing that there's not a soul here at all. But I, after this video, though, <laughs> it would probably be everybody here. So, but... That's what we got to do, right? right? I think you can hear a boat down below playing some, some old country music. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to drive around the rest of Douglas Lake, but what we saw here is absolutely stunning in itself. <sighs> Smell that air. Smell something. Um, manure from the farms down below. <laughs> well, we got some fresh farm air, right? Right. <laughs> There's absolutely no one here. Very quiet. You can hear the uh, the river here just flowing underneath the dam. 
There's a lot of uh, a lot of cranes or herons. I think those are herons. And they're actually flying around looking for fish. Beautiful red buds over there. It's a very, very busy road here. A lot of people. Well, hello, Mr. Cows. Moo. The one in the center there has got mud on his face. You got mud on your face. <laughs> you're, a, you're a big disgrace. Somebody better put you back into your place. I don't think he really cares. I think he's just interested in eating that, that grass there. Moo! Chewing your cut, huh? Here comes more friends. Chewing your cut. They're all coming to see us. I think they I think they think we got food. I think they eat corn. I got corn. Here comes the babies. Hi. Hello, Mr. Babies. Hello, hello, hello. Those red butts are really absolutely beautiful. Oh, wow, look at that. Beautiful scenic drive today. Yeah, definitely. Very cloud covered. Now it looks like it wants to rain again. It doesn't know if it wants to rain. Oh no. Or if it wants to. That's all it did all day yesterday. Well. Yeah, it rained all day yesterday. That's it. Okay, from here we're going to head towards Dandridge. And we're going to be going on the the north side of Douglas Lake. Um, then we're gonna be heading back around where bushes baked beans through English Mountain again. Look at that house there. It's got that appeal to it. That old southern appeal to it. Beautiful. we found this little place called The Barn. If you notice, it has two guitars on it. Well, it's got or a, a guitar and a banjo. A banjo and a guitar. It looks like it might be a little place to come out and boot scoot and boogie. Or maybe a little clogging. It looks fun. We're going to have to check this place out. I'm going to have to do some research. The Barn. Yeah, it says welcome. The door is open. And that is that is really cool. Well, there's an old Tennessee home there. The metal roof and beautiful porch to sit out there and enjoy those mountain views. Well, we're here at a place called Anchor Down RV Resort. And we had to stop because of all well, the beautiful flowers underneath the sign, the beautiful landscaping here. This here has got to be a really cool RV resort. We tried to drive back, to, but there was a gate and couldn't get in. Look at that view. Love to build a house right here, right? <laughs> Take a look at Douglas Lake all day. Mountains in the background. A little slice of heaven.
Well, we found a little history here on the side road. Samuel McSpadden uh, was a powder maker and Revolutionary War veteran. Built this house in 1804. Died here on August the 3rd, 1944 from a crude powder mill located one-fourth mile north of here. Sent flatboats loaded with gunpowder to New Orleans where General Andrew Jackson used it in the Battle of New Orleans. The last major battle of the war. Well, this is the Samuel McSpadden home. You can definitely tell it's got that uh, Civil War type look to it. And uh, yes, you see the little, the little uh, balcony there and the porch down below. Absolute beautiful house. It's a private residence though. But look at the beautiful lake views that they got out back there but we can't spend too much time here because it is a private residence they do say it's a private residence well there's a few restaurants here on the lake and um, we're going to come back and check these out when they reopen. But this one here is called Fire Lake. Kind of got that tropical feel. Yeah, there's actually a shark down there. Uh, down there by the lake's edge. Well, we're at this public access point. Out in the middle of the lake here. We're going to take a little, little drive out here and just see... What's going on? Beautiful, beautiful uh, views of the mountains here. Let's go get a closer look. There's English Mountain straight ahead we're actually on this little peninsula out in the middle of the lake here beautiful cloud cover. It's like rolling through. There's a farm over there. We're here in downtown Dandridge, but we're gonna head across the bridge here and we're gonna head back towards the other uh, side of Douglas Lake. But stay tuned. Look at some of these homes, look at how old some of these homes here in Jefferson are. Of course, that one is a newer one. This one here is an antique store. White Swan. Well, here's the Jefferson County Courthouse, 1845. Dan Dandridge is a beautiful, beautiful town here, oh. and we we're gonna save that for another day when social distancing is. A little better in town. This town is actually packed. There's a lot of people, a lot of traffic and what have you. And now we're coming up to, well, the bridge. But this is actually a new bridge. One of my first videos I ever shot, I shot going through the old cantilever style bridge. But that bridge is long gone. They replaced it with this new wider um, bridge.
bridge here. Yeah. Look how pretty this is. Absolutely beautiful. So now we're heading to the south side of uh, Douglas Lake by crossing that bridge. Uh, we just got to the south side of the, of the lake here. And um, the road here gets quite windy, I guess. Twist and turn, windy, what have you. There's actually a there's actually a lighthouse directly in front of us. Little, little lighthouse over there. We're over here in English Mountains now. house on that that hill there. Oh wow, it's actually quite beautiful sitting up in that luscious green grass. Hickory pear cactus. Someone was saying that they're actually native uh, to Tennessee. I know they survive. I see them usually Pretty much everywhere. Look at the look at that backdrop there and all the cattle. Beautiful. And then turning right here at the AJ Bush General Store and and merchandise will take you back towards well Sevierville and it ultimately take you back to where we started. This adventure. And if you like this vlog, definitely check our video uh, previous to this where we actually explored this area, the English Mountain area. Well, that was our trip around Douglas Lake. What did you think of all the beautiful views that we saw today? I enjoyed it. It was very scenic. Yeah, and uh, we noticed that around the Douglas Dam, uh, there was nobody around, so we actually got in a really nice walk. Um, the air was uh, fresh. It was a little bit on a cooler side today, but other than that, it was awesome. Uh, the beautiful views of the dam and then all the mountains in the background were uh, breathtaking. Um, also, if it wasn't so cool, cloudy as it was today we would have gotten some really beautiful uh, mountain views because it's it's absolutely beautiful up there uh what did you think about it what was your favorite part about our trip around the, the lake the lake yes also we got to uh, see cows and all those old barns and homes uh, there's a lot that we passed and we didn't show you guys so yeah i definitely suggest uh when you come to smokies um you know take a little uh trip off the strip um and uh, you can explore any part of the county. Uh, you set your GPS on and just drive. Uh, and when you get bored of your driving, uh, just hit the GPS to tell you to come back to Pigeon Forge or wherever, guys. But, well, guys, that's going to do it for today here. And, well, technically we were in Sevierville and we were in, um, in Dandridge today. So if you like this vlog, give it a give thumbs, it a thumbs up. up. If you haven't, please subscribe so you don't miss these upcoming, well, Smoky Mountain Adventures. And we're going to have plenty of Smoky Mountain Adventures, well, just around the corner. And until next time. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, everybody.